I received a phone call today from a woman who has gone through hell with her 18-year-old son. He's been rebellious and difficult from the time he was a small child, and in the past five years or more, he's also been a drug addict and repeatedly in trouble with the law. Recently, he was released from an extended period of drug rehabilitation, and for a couple of weeks, he seemed to be doing pretty well. So his mother let him move back into her home, but soon he went back to drugs. So she threw him out. He stopped using for a few days, so she let him back in. And then he went back to using, so she threw him back out. In the house, out of the house, they went back and forth. She called me to say that she had told him that as long as he was using drugs, he could never come back to the house again. And she wanted me to confirm that she had done the right thing. I suggested that maybe she had gone too far, a lot too far, actually. I asked her what she was trying to accomplish by keeping him away from the house. And she said she was trying to get him to quit using drugs. So I asked her all the things that she had tried to help her son stop using. Have you taught him that using drugs is bad for him? Yes. Have you yelled at him? Yes. Have you argued with him? Yes. Have you sent him to drug rehab? Yes. Has he been to prison? Yes. <laughs> In fact, you've done most of those things many times, haven't you? Yes. And has any of them worked? No. So I asked her, you thought keeping him away from you would work? Keeping him away from you would stop him from using drugs? You thought that was different enough that it would motivate him to stop doing what he's been doing for years despite the failure of every other approach? She got the point that her decision probably wouldn't work. So I asked her to consider the possibility that loving him unconditionally just might work. She said, you mean I'm just supposed to let him use drugs? I laughed. I said, sweetie, he's already made it plain that he is going to use. It's not a matter of letting him. He's going to use. And your letting him or not is irrelevant because you simply can't control him. Even talking about the word letting him is kind of ridiculous. The real point is what you'll do when he uses. Before we get to what you're going to do when he uses though, you need to understand why he uses. That's critical. And we'll talk about that in our next session. <music>